Okay, X-Ray Bob here, or should we say Sheldon here? No, Bazinga. X-Ray Bob here. Today's video is about radiographic rating charts. And these aren't in that much use anymore because they're all sort of taken care of by your computer, but it still might be on your registry, so they're worth knowing. All right, so um, you'll get problems like this. Is this condition safe or unsafe? And they're going to give you a revolution speed, how fast the anode's spinning, and they're also going to give you a focal spot size, as well as a KVP, a time, and a current. And so the first step is to choose from the multiple charts provided using the information given. So in this problem, uh, Bouchon, Dr. Bouchon gave us four charts. We can see one chart has 0.6 millimeter focal spot size and 3400 RPM. This one has that small focal spot size, but it's fa spinning faster at 10,000. Here's one, the large focal spot spinning at 3,400, and here's the large focal spot spinning at 10,000. So um, you'll see that we were given um, two charts of the four that are for a certain speed and two of the four that are for the focal spot. And the question asks, find the chart uh, that's talking about 10,000 RPM and 1.2 millimeter focal spot. So you need to read the chart as well as the problem, especially when they're multiple charts. So as we see, there's only one chart that has both the large focal spot and the fast spinning time, anode rotation speed. So we'll focus only on this chart as we move forward with this problem. So I'll make it bigger. I'm kind of in the way. All right, so now using just this chart, we'll do the next step of the problem, which is we'll find those conditions. So they say 100 kVp, so here I've drawn a blue line at 100 kVp, and 500 milliseconds, which is my 0.5 uh, seconds. And again, you can look at this funky scale, it's a logarithmic scale. So again, they're assuming that you can find information on a log scale, and that we can convert from milliseconds to seconds. So my green line shows 0.5 seconds, my blue line shows uh, 100 kVp, and so this intersection is the conditions that we're going to compare with the 150 MA curve. So this chart's telling me that anywhere on this red curve is the maximum KVP time combination that I can do at 150 MA. So I can do 70 KVP for almost, well, 20, almost 20 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Or I could do a higher KVP, like 140 KVP, but I can only do that for like seven seconds. So if my intersection point of the conditions in the question is to the left of, so it's a lower uh, time or below a lower KVP, then they're safe. So in this problem, we would say that it's safe because the intersection of 100 KVP and half a second is much far, far to the left and far below this curve. So we're to the left and below this curve, which is our maximum KVPs and MAs that we can do, maximum KVPs in time that we can do at that exposure, at that current rate. So let's do another problem. In this problem, again, they give us the 10,000 RPM, the 1.2 millimeter focal spot, but we've got new conditions. We've got the 700 MA curve. So we're going to find that same graph. It's the same one of the four. And now we're going to draw our blue line at 100 kVp, so that didn't change. But now we're talking 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So I draw my green line at one second, and here's their intersection. So that's the point we're going to say, is that above the curve or below the curve? So it, the curve would say at 100 kVp, I can only go about 0.4 or 5 seconds. Anything above that is going to be unsafe. And so here we see we're asking for a second. The curve says, no, I can't go past this cutoff at that KVP. So if we're to the right of the curve, or if we're above the curve, we're unsafe. All right, so this, these conditions to this question would be unsafe. All right, we'll do one more. Again, it's the same RPM and the same focal spot, so we'll grab the same curve. And now we've got 105 KVP, 700 MA for 100 milliseconds. So we grab that same curve, we set up 105 kVp is my blue line, 0.1 second is 100 milliseconds, and that is below, it's to the left of the curve, it's below the curve, so at 0.1 milliseconds I could go all the way to almost 125 kVp, or at 105 kVp I could go almost to 
0.35 seconds. Uh, but as long as I don't go to the right of the curve more time or above the curve more kvp, I'm safe. So for this answer, I would be safe. Okay, uh, I took these examples straight from Bouchang's workbook, uh, workbook worksheet 6-3, um, 10th edition. So we have to thank him, thank him for these examples. And that's how you do these charts. Uh, like a lot of our charts, you're going to see the key is to read the question and read everything on the chart. Some charts will say one phase, some charts will say three phase. You know, you might have a four pack um, where it's one phase, three phase, one phase, three phase. It could be one phase, small focal spot size, one phase, large focal spot size, three phase, small focal spot size, three phase, large focal spot size. And it could be a very similar question, but they might ask you, hey, for the one phase system and the large focal spot size, are these conditions safe? You can actually imagine them giving you nine charts where they vary focal spot size and they vary uh, rotation speed and they vary uh, the waveform, single phase, three phase. Uh, and again, you read the question, you read through the chart titles, and once you do that, you should be able to just set up your intersections and compare it with the curve for the MA, which is the maximum condition. Okay, X-Ray Bob out. I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.